I woke up and uh, had a dream and thought about trust. And so I'm back in sharing mode also for some reason. So I go from periods of not saying anything to sharing and doing videos. So trust. What's happening in, uh, in this little community that uh, we built called Synchronicity is really, really amazing. So I wanted to share here. So for six months, there has been a group of, say, 40 people, very committed. Uh, who started sharing and being very vulnerable. They shared uh, trauma, they shared experience, they shared weirdness, because uh, a lot of uh, spiritual, mystical practices are, are very uh, weird to most people. So they're not easy to share. They're not easy to share because uh, you are judged. You can be judged by your friends, you can be judged by I don't know, your boss, if he hears about it, if you have one, you can be, uh, uh, you know, judged for so many things. And so it's not easy to share. And we started with those 40 people with, uh, on a WhatsApp group, which was really beautiful. And some people here don't, didn't know each other. I didn't know them. Like they were introduced by others or they joined online. Some of them I knew. But it turned into some like magic of everybody started to share very deep things and learnings as you learn to work on yourself uh, there are some dark side you know very very some dark side coming out um, and some share that i shared that or things we feel right and um, it's not the same to share in public and synchronicity is not public but the, the fact that we moved it to this discord server made it uh, different, better in many ways because there are like topics and so on but also now there is 250 people in it so I had a um, few members and myself I felt it too uh, who stopped sharing or expressed that uh, it was more difficult to share why? because we don't trust, right? so what is trust? That, that has been the thought what is trust? how do we trust? how do we trust in an online world? Um, and how do we keep those amazing shares with now 250 people in it and more coming and you're welcome to come if you feel like it well i have seen uh, in my uh, experiences especially in the forest many uh, experiences where weirdness came like a lot of weirdness <laughs> like people some people screaming others moving around me too agitated Learning calm and silence is not something we learn too much in, uh, in the modern world, right? So I watched the indigenous hold space. Holding space is, uh, is you know, what they talk about or what people talk about doing ceremonies or spiritual circles. And it means letting people do what they need to do, but also m making them understand sometimes, most of the time actually by themselves, that they cannot do this. So I tend to trust because now it's open, right? There's a lot of people joining, a lot of new people welcome. But at the same time, <coughs> I would like to keep that uh, powerful sharing, right? So I did a very uh, immediate action by creating a, a channel that I called Elders. These are the 40, you know, minus, or I don't know, 30, 40, 50, something like that. And what we did is uh, with uh, oldest members or some of them, added people, actually one of them, <laughs> and myself, added people that we think we trust, that I can say anything, absolutely anything, pretty much anything with. And so they're there in this channel and now they can share again. The, the bad news is that now the newcomers don't see that. So the trust is restored, but with that group. And I don't want that. I don't think it's good. I think the, we're all one, right? We're all only one. There are no bad people. We're, um, only people that might, you know, see that they need to change their behavior. And I change my behavior a lot, I think. I have uh, a lot to progress and, and change. But I have, uh, I've been in many ways bad in the past. You know, you could even say that business is bad as a whole, for example, like um, promoting competition. Because if you start a business, you have to compete with others. And uh, if you are... Uh, a manager or a CEO of a, even a small startup, you maybe have to fire people, right? So there is at one point someone that decides that someone is bad. 
or not, not adequate. I'm wondering how, and I, I'm trusting <laughs> if we can find solutions to have these newcomers and welcome them and, and, and see how we, we can do that trust. Uh, but in most spiritual practices or the, the different paths I've taken, there are levels. Uh, levels of trust. It took me years to gain the trust of these indigenous. It took me a lot of work to receive some of their knowledge and uh, and that they open up. It took a long time. It's not just about paying for a retreat. Yeah, sure, there is that because they need help, but uh, and they don't have to help. <laughs> but uh, it's not that. It's way beyond that. So. I'm just trying to be very concrete. Here I did this channel, and uh, now I'm trying to look at the problem. So what problem is Anonymous uh, in Synchronicity? Uh, since it's coming from gamers and crypto guys, uh, you can have a pseudo and be entirely anonymous, which is good because it can allow sharing things that you wouldn't share. But it's also bad because that's why I do videos. You know, I like, I like to see people's faces that are as close as possible to the real you or me. Right? That's me now. <laughs> so, weekly calls help showing up with your face and, uh, and, 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 uh, and your, your name helps. Um, the being vulnerable and sharing something that can help someone else helps. Um, and uh, I am uh, just sharing this to share that we went from 50 to 250. <laughs> and I need help. Uh, you know, so three or four people already uh, volunteered to be community managers or moderators and watch what's happening and help, like move channels, create things. And, um, no one was ever kicked out, so I trust. Um, but I, I think we can keep it a beautiful place and, uh, and see how we can still share despite our conditioning. The conditioning is from generations and generations of people killing witches in Europe because they were weird and doing weird stuff that they, uh, I guess, uh, shown that there was some power that uh, they could have with uh, accessing, you know, this other world that is less material. And uh, we killed the indigenous, we uh, invaded them, uh, we don't trust them. What they do is forbidden in many places. The plants they use is forbidden in many places. So it's all very tricky and very, very complex. Yet I think the world is changing really fast. And so the goal of synchronicity is really to gather those who are trying to discover that there is more than material or already know and want to share what they found and discover what others found. Despite the conditioning, despite the fears, despite uh, the risk of uh, uh, being judged weird or not as others or I don't know dangerous <laughs> I don't know or uh, uh, the fear of uh, going to the forest and taking plants that are illegal in other countries um, the fear of uh, being too much in meditation and inside yourself and being judged for that. I don't know. It can be all kinds of fears, so we can talk about those fears. But I, I just wanted to share this video because I, I thought um, it's a very fascinating topic to stay open while uh, um, a lot of spiritual practices teach you silence, teach you uh, that it takes time. One of uh, the indigenous told me walking with the plants, for example, is like learning a language. It takes 10 years. It's not like, you know, you, you go there and you do it once and you will have all the, all the answers. It takes 10 years. That's what he said. So I think here it's kind of the same. It takes time. And uh, I'm really looking forward to your help. And opening here a conversation, I, I posted also uh, a little text uh, on, on my newsletter, yeah, one news. And I will change that name, by the way. And also in the, in the synchronicity, I hope we have a talk about this. And I'm trusting that everybody makes efforts and be human and be loving and open their hearts uh, to keep this a beautiful, beautiful space. But I'm fascinated by the experiment so far. It's been a great joy for me.